This is EE 2017 Spring 2014 Week 5 Lecture 2. So today we're going to do Chapter 8 which is RLC circuits. However, uh, the point is there's no difference in point number one. There's no difference between this and Chapter 7 first order circuits in the sense that the time domain concept behind or the concept that is the time domain uh, ideas that we're going to explore behind RLC circuits is that we simply now admit damped harmonic oscillations. So in other words, uh, the first order circuits that we covered in chapter 7 cannot oscillate. I say we covered because if your first order differential equation involves the appropriate nonlinearities, they can oscillate, but that is beyond the scope of this course, apparently. Anyway, uh, recall that these damped harmonic oscillations are actually related to the Q factor concept from frequency response. In fact, after um, this week, that is next week, we're going to talk. We're going to have our second exam. We'll talk about that next week when we have the review session. But after the second exam, we're going to start Laplace transforms where we will relate the frequency response ideas or the phasor domain to the general response. Anyway, we'll talk about Laplace transforms when we get there. I am tired because it's around 1 a.m. I'm just finishing up all the lecture recordings. So let's get started. But basically, the crux of the problem, is the crux of the matter is that we still need to determine initial conditions. We'll do that today. All right, then we'll need to, under, we need to use the fact that uh, the response of a linear system is the sum of the transient response and the steady state response. We'll do this next lecture. So let's just do a practice problem to illustrate the importance of initial conditions. So here is the problem. The switch was open for a long time but it closes at t equals 0. So we need to determine all these values. And to do that, just like we did in chapter 7, we will draw a circuit for t equals 0 minus. We'll draw a circuit for t equals 0 plus, And we'll draw a circuit as t goes to infinity, with the understanding that the voltage across capacitor and the current through the inductor cannot change instantaneously, point number 1. Point number 2, at steady state, the cap acts like an open circuit, and the inductor behaves like a short circuit. Right. So at t equals 0 minus, which has been open for a long time, so the cap, like we just discussed, is an open circuit. Okay. And then the inductor, here is the I of interest, acts like a short circuit. And if you want, you should actually put that there is a capacitor here dotted. Right. There's an inductor here and a hard to draw dotted. But anyway, the first prop, the first part asks us for i equals 0 plus v equals 0 plus. So where is v? Is v the voltage across the cap? It is. Okay. So this is v of 0 minus i of 0 minus at t equals oops, 0 plus. What we do actually, let me not draw this line. So we know that v of 0 minus, according to voltage divider, is 2 divided by 10 plus 2 times 24 volts. This implies V of 0 minus, with the polarity shown, of course, is 12 to is 4 volts. Okay. It's that. So now this implies that V of 0 plus is also 4 volts. And I of 0 minus is simply 24 divided by 12, which is 2 amps. This implies I of 0 plus is also 2 amps. Okay. So that's that. And then DI of 0 plus, DV of 0 plus. So let's just draw this circuit at 0 plus. Okay, so here's 2 ohms. Here is the cap. Okay. And then the switch is closed. So our 10 ohm resistor gets shorted out. Okay, here is our inductor. <coughs> Excuse me. 0.4 Henry, 1 over 20th of a farad. These parameters may not be realistic for a breadboard, but the, what is important is the concept. So what we do know is this is at 4 volts, and this is 2 amps. Okay, that's all we know. Let me draw that straight line here. 
used to go into infinity a little bit more spacing there mm, I'll try to do a multi sim simulation of this we should have time here uh, so let's see what we know that di of 0 plus di of 0 plus dt is vl of 0 plus over l okay we know that so then let's actually do t equals let's do t going to infinity down here so this implies that di of 0 plus dt is dvl, voltage across the inductor, is 20 minus 4, like I have the polarity over there, over 0.4 henrys, and this implies di of 0 plus dt equals 20 minus 4 is 60 divided by, so it's 160 divided by 4, so it's 40 amps per second. And finally, what he is asking for for zero plus is dv of dv plus dv of zero plus dt, and actually working on this down here. Okay. Dt is what it's going to be um, the current through the cap. So let's mark that. Let's mark it. I C of 0 plus and this is our model definition yeah I C D V D T is all the I D T if you want so in the definition right D V of 0 it's not if you want you can put the defined symbol if you want that's what I meant uh, so we need to find the current through the inductor I mean so the capacitor I'm sorry we know that 2 amps is flowing in from here, we know there's 4 volts across here, so there is 2 amps flowing here, and therefore this is actually 0 volt per second because of the instant. Okay. This switch is closed. That's what we get by because by KCL, we have 2 amps coming in, 2 amps going here because uh, through the 2 ohm resistor because the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor is 4 volts because this 4 volts is maintained across the discontinuity since it's the voltage across the capacitor so you get 0 volts per second and then finally as T goes to infinity now let's draw the circuit right T goes to infinity cap acts like an open circuit again the inductor acts like a short circuit right and you have two ohms cap is acting like an open circuit inductor like a short circuit I think this is 20 volts right uh oh shoot I just realized something again I'm tired so this is 24 volts okay so let's fix this so this is 24 minus 4, it's not 20, right? So it's 20 over 4, so this is, should be 50 amps per second, okay? I think that's the only mistake I did. The current is 2 amps here, 2 as much, fine. So getting back here, this is 24 volts, okay? So here is I. And then here is V, therefore, what are they asking? The V, the IS, T goes to infinity, is obviously 12 amps, and the VS, T goes to infinity, is obviously 24 volts. So let's check our answers. 0 plus, I of, I of 0 plus, V of 0 plus. So hopefully, this thing still open, yep. It's called, uh, oh god, it's like I need my mouse.
mouse keyboard but let me see if I made a mistake I need to correct it So 2 amps and 4 volts, let's see if that's right, 2 amps, 4 volts, that's correct, right? And then 50 amps per second, 0 volts per second, 0 volts per second, 12 amps and 24 volts. So it looks good. So let's just do a quick multi-sim simulation and confirm our answer. So for that, I'm just going to save this. Sim fine. There are many ways to perform this simulation. Uh, so I'm going to use the switch idea that we uh, looked at last time we did the simulation, right? See, I have a switch, 10 Henry to so blah blah. So let's see. This component, so let's put the sources, uh, power sources. We do have a DC power source, okay. So it's 24 volts. We'll fix all the numbers shortly. We have a uh, basic, we got a couple of resistors. Inductor. Capacitor. If you go to basic, let's go to switch, let's put our um, voltage control, single pole, single throw, right? So that's that. Oops. Let's see. I'm going to get my keyboard active here. So I'm going to start typing in the numbers and computer getting on the simulation. Here, move the switch up a little bit. Oh god, looks like my keyboard battery died. No, oh my god. Okay. So let me actually put all the numbers in so we can do the simulation. I mean, we can maximize this screen. There's the multi sim screen, so 1 over 20 is 0.05 farads. Okay. And then 1k is going to be 2 ohms. I'm going to only do a simulation for t greater than or equal to 0, so I'm going to check my t equals 0 plus and t equal to infinity answers. So, 4 volts and 2 amps, I mean, you better get that right. It's so trivial. And this is 24 volts. Okay, now I can maximize this. So, and I forgot the inductance. Point four Henry. Let's see. So this was four volts. Okay, and of course the polarity of the cap. If you want, you can put a polarized cap, but the plus is on the top and the minus is on the bottom. Right in the inductor, initial conditions is 2 amps, is what we computed. Okay. We need 2 
two things. Number one, we need a ground, right? Number two, let's put in our pulse, step voltage, not a pulse, sorry. This is going to close at t equals zero. lot easier, doesn't it? Home room to work. Okay. So there's the poles, and then we'll just do this connection from here. Told you it is very late here and I am tired. Alright, so let's adjust these switch parameters. So 0, 5 volts, step time is, let's make it again 1 nanosecond and make this picoseconds. So basically we have a step and if it's 5 volts, it closes, this should be good. Okay, so let's look at what are they asking for. what we'll find out, what we can find out, is we'll find out the voltage across the inductor at zero plus, right? Actually, let's just find out, uh, yeah, let's find the voltage across the inductor at zero plus, and the current through the capacitor at zero plus, right? So the voltage across the inductor is going to be, let's see, across the inductor uh, uh, uh. call this V1 right? show net name so let's do this let's call this V1 and the current through the capacitor it's actually easy to measure in the sense let's put a zero volt source in there measure the current through it let's call this V C or something. Stick it in there. Alright, so let's move this down. Make sure we're connected. Yep. It's down. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to do simulate analysis, transient analysis. Uh, okay, one more should be good. Current output is what we want is the current through VC give us that. Actually, let's add an expression. Uh, we want, or let's cancel all this. Let's call this Vs. Okay, we want Vs minus V1. Analysis, transient analysis. Uh, upper, let's expression so we want Vs uh, minus V1 okay okay so that's that and then let's do I of Vc add and let's analyze it to one microsecond right let's simulate Okay, so let's see what we get. Um, so what are we looking at? So yes, so as we can see, V S of V V S V one is twenty volts. Okay, and 
then the current through the capacitor is zero. So I analyzed it for a very short interval of time, transient analysis. So we're basically doing zero plus, and it's kind of like a, you could say a good check, but it's bottom line is you can uh, simulate the circuit in multi-sim if you know what you're doing analytically. Anyway, that's about it for today's lecture. I'll see you next time. And for the time for me to go to bed.